Good morning, everyone. We are continuing here in the words of the Chavitz Chaim in the Sefer Mitzvah Zakatzar, and we are in Mitzvah Ches Mitzvah Loisa. Say the negative commandment number eight. A person should entertain no thoughts. That there is any other God. Besides Hashem. You should not even think to yourself. That there is any other God besides HaKadosh Baruch in this world. Like it says in the Yisera Sadibras in the Ten Commandments. There should be no other gods before me, says HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Says the Chavetz Chaim, what does this mean? Somebody who entertains the idea in his mind, he doesn't say anything, he just thinks about it. Chas v'sholem, God forbid. That there is another God besides Hashem. Or he has a partner. has a partner. Kodesh Baruch needs a partnership to be able to run the world and bring his divinity to the mankind. Chas v'shalom, God forbid. Oy, shemayla b'daytoy. Or he thinks to himself, sheyeshu mamoshus b'avodizor. He sees avodizor, idol worship, or worship of different things besides Hashem, and he begins to think that there's basis and there's substance to that worship that is there. Chas v'shalom, God forbid. Such a person is a koifer be'ikr. He's a person who denies the very fundamental principle of life that there is a rebbeinu sha'ilam and only one God. So says the Chavetz Chaim, you didn't say anything. You did not do anything. You didn't uh, profess or proclaim. You didn't go around and teach people all of this sheker, all this falsehood. You just let it come up into your mind that such a thing could be true. It's already a person that is a koifer be'ikr. They are already someone that is transgressing the very fundamentals that there's a rebbeinu shaylam. Klal Yisrael is a nation of amuna. We're a nation of people that believe in Hakadosh Baruch Hu. We work hard day and night to create the relationship and the connection between us and Hashem that is so unique and so precious and so sacred. And a person, a yid, is going to sit back and start to entertain. Maybe Yashka had a had a shaykhis to the Rebbeinu Shailam, and he was a partner with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Chas v'chalila. Maybe the Buddha man over there at the front of the Chinese restaurant, maybe he was a person of godliness in this world. Chas v'chalila say such a thing. If a person entertains such ideas, they are koifer be'ikr. They are denying the very essence of the truth of this world, which is there's only one God. Don't say anything. God forbid that would sound like you are being koifer, that you are denying HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Or lest you, you give any any credit to Avaydezara, to idol worship, graven, graven images, stars, moon, sun, whatever the, the worship is going to be. Why? Because somebody who acknowledges and submits or admits that Avodizar is true, you are someone who now denies the entirety of the whole Torah. The Torah is predicated upon a Munabashem, that a Kodesh Baruch is the Emes, and his Torah is Emes, and Moshe Benu that gave us the Torah was an Ish of Emes. If you give credence to Avodah Zarah, you're denying all of that. Ki Kaifer Be'ikro, because you've just denied the greatest fundamental principle of our faith, Hashem. We are obligated to be Moshe Nefesh, to give up our lives if necessary for believing in HaKadosh Baruch and not showing any trace or even hint that we believe in Avodah Zarah, Shekol Advar Manogim Be'ikar Adas, because anything, any mitzvah that is predicated upon or deals with the main principle of belief in Hashem, Chayev Laharag V'loy La'avor, a person is obligated to give up their life and not transgress, transgress such, a, such a prohibition, which means that if somebody would say to you, Either you bow down to the idol, I'm going to kill you. You say, so kill me. But there's no way in the world I'm going to bow down to an idol. It's mamish kaifer b'kala to kula. It means I deny a Kodesh Baruch Hu. I'm not leaving the world as a denier. I will leave the world as a promoter of the Rebbe I'll leave the world as a, a believer in the Rebbe someone that spreads the knowledge of Hashem in this world and not the other way. Chas v'shom v'day v'chol eisim v'chol rega. This is a mitzvah that is... That is in effect, all of the time, 
every single second of the day, a person has an obligation to believe in Hashem and not believe in anything besides HaKadosh Baruch Hu B'Zecham and Akevais. For men and for women, we are all obligated to keep such a precious and a treasured mitzvah. Have a wonderful day filled with Amunah Ba'Hashem. All the best.